Hey everyone, it's Harvey again here from Eco Crowd, and today I'm going to show you how to make a compost bin out of a 195 litre recycled hard plastic food grade barrel that was donated to us by WA Barrels. Check out their link below. They're about 30 bucks, so they're cheap as chips. So what we want to do first is drill some holes down here, about four holes, four times around. This is going to um, be so we can get some air through there. So just get a drill bit about that size. Nice and big. Slide this down and drill some holes. <coughs> so now we've drilled our holes, we can get some fly screen and cut it up into little squares, just like that. Get a hot glue gun and then we can stick it on the inside and that will prevent any flies from being able to enter. So now we've glued our fly screen to the holes. Um, we can turn it upside down and drill four holes at the bottom here. Just in the middle and then the same thing, get a little square and glue these down, they can be on the outside, doesn't matter, here. So when I set up the barrel, I'm going to have it raised so I can capture the liquids that come out at the bottom there. So what I want to do is, I'm just going to make some braces, just two timber braces, going there and there, just with an old, I'm just going to cut this up, it's just an old um, jar of steak. So I'll just cut it about that long and uh, just screw that in down there and there. So now you just want to select a nice shady spot just like this one here. And I've just put some bricks down. Um, that's just to raise it up off the ground so we can capture the liquids underneath with a little bucket here. And now it's time to fill her up. So what we want to do first, take the lid off. And to help with drainage, we want to get some twigs, just from the garden. And that's just going to be our first layer, just like ones like this. Just chuck them at the bottom. So now we've got our twigs in there for our drainage, the next step's quite important. So we've got two different elements that we're putting in there. One's carbon and one's nitrogen. Now carbon's all the brown stuff, like uh, your, your crushed leaves, uh, some newspaper, straw, anything like that. And that's the energy, the heat that um, is going to need for the compost uh, to work. And then the other one is nitrogen, which is the green stuff, so your, your food scraps, uh, grass clippings, weeds, all that kind of jazz and that's the the protein um, for the microorganisms to eat um, and that in combined with the carbon which is the heat uh, makes it all work together so we want to do like a layer system so what we're going to do first is put some newspaper in here just uh, shredded shredded newspaper just like that we we'll just chuck that in Just like that. So that's a, a, a first layer of uh, carbon. And now we're going to use uh, just some food scraps. Nice food scraps here. We'll just chuck that in. And anything else that you've got, grass clippings, weeds, anything like that, just chuck in there. And then the next layer what I'm going to do is crushed brown leaves just like this. The reason why you want to crush them is because leaves have an oil layer um, which to decay takes a long time so the outside layer is uh, like an oily layer so you want to break that layer um, for them to compost down quite quickly. So yeah what, what you can do is just um, uh, if you've got like a blower that can suck out the back uh, just uh, suck up all the leaves and that as it goes through we'll uh, break up the leaves. So now we've got our three layers, the shredded newspaper, then the food scraps, then the crushed up leaves. 
We just want to continue that carbon, nitrogen, carbon, nitrogen, carbon, nitrogen, all the way to the top. And you can add uh, stuff like this, like the crushed up eggshells, uh, coffee grounds, um, comfrey, that helps accelerate it as well. Um, and you want to stir this once a week uh, just to get some more air in there because we want an aerobic environment in there, not an anaerobic environment um, to speed up the composting. And then just water it like uh, once a week as well. You don't want it wet, but you just want it lightly moist. Any liquids that come out, we, we can collect that and use that as a liquid fertilizer as well. And yeah, if you want compost quickly, then maybe ask all your neighbors for all their food scraps, give them a bucket or something like that and just say, hey, can I have all your food scraps? Um, collect all your brown leaves as well and you'll be able to fill this up in no time and then probably another six weeks and then you're going to have 195 litres of your homemade organic compost, which is the best stuff to plant anything in. So yeah, I hope that helps and uh, for more information go to ecocrowd.com.au forward slash compost. Alright, cheers. Have a good one.